Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Dominic with Alexandria Camping Center and we're here today on this beautiful, sunny, warm day in May to show you this 2022 Flagstaff E-Pro 20 FBS. A lot of exciting stuff to unpack on this, but we're gonna start here on the outside. On the door side here, you can see the beautiful power electric awning. This is spanning the entire length of the trailer to give you awesome sunshade and protection from the elements. This goes out with a touch of a button. It is pitchable, so if you wanted to angle it, you can do so. And it has a nice LED light strip in the bottom of the awning to give you some nice ambiance at the campsite in the evenings. You can see the flip down, more ride, step above, solid steps. These are nice because they come in contact with the ground. They have adjustable feet so you can, you know, slant them accordingly. And because they have those feet, they're not, they're not springy. You have a big grab handle to get back into the trailer, keyless entry, so you can forget your keys and just know the programmable key code that you set up. You can't help but notice this off-road style rugged tire here with aluminum wheels, nitro filled. This runs on a torsion axle system. So this is a type of independent style suspension that enhances the towing experience. And really with this kind of off-road setup, it can get you off the beaten path and really do some, you know, off-grid style camping. There's more to talk about about off-grid, but we'll save that for a little bit later. You have a spot here where you can hook up a grill and a little work table. It's plumbed directly to this propane line that runs off the front of the coach. So you don't need to worry about carrying an extra propane bottle for your propane uh, grill. Outside speakers so you can listen to music while you're outside by the fire entertaining. You can notice these beautiful tinted safety glass windows which are frameless window. So really cool, gives it that modern kind of look styling that you see on some of those fancier rigs but this is really compact in a more towable segment this rig is about 3500 pounds as it sits in this compartment you have a little bit of extra storage which is nice to enhance with what you have in the front with a nice pass through moving around to the back side of the coach you have a big ladder to get up to the roof for any maintenance needs you have an outdoor shower with hot and cold so you can rinse your feet when you get back from the beach and then you have your hookups for city water you have a black tank flush system so this will help rinse out that black holding tank to keep um, you know everything nice and clean you have cable and satellite hookup and then you also have a direct inlet so when you want to do your winterizing at the end of the season you can do it right there and you don't need to chase around for the, the pump and the, the bypass kit. You have LED lights on the outside and inside. You have a preparation for a backup camera. So if you want to add a wireless backup camera, that's a nice feature to have when you're trying to park this thing in that perfect spot. And you have scissor jacks in every corner to help stabilize this trailer. Moving around to the opposite door side. We have a 30 amp service on this coach, comes with a 25 foot power cable. Over here, you'll see your termination sewer valves. So everything hooks up nice and neat, black and gray holding tanks. This little slide out on this rig just gives it a little more space inside the coach. And then you have a gravity fill, fresh water tank. And then you have the nice pass-through storage that goes all the way through one side to the other. You'll notice the little battery disconnect in the pass-through storage, which is um, one of the highlights we're, we're gonna get into pretty soon. A little switch for the docking light on the front. This is integrated into the front cap so you can see what you're doing in the evening. Molded front cap three quarters of the way, check plate on the bottom and integrated windshield. Just gives it that nice look and adds some natural light inside the coach. Power tongue jack, hit of a button up and down, and then you have a light integrated to see what you're doing. And then you have a bike rack option. This will allow you to carry some bicycles with you and it's nice and accessible on the front tongue. Dual 20 pound propane bottles and a spot for up to two batteries. 
but this rig doesn't need any extra batteries because it has the power package. Really awesome stuff. This is part of what we want to showcase is there's three solar panels on the roof of this coach. 190 watts per panel equaling 570 watts of solar power. This has a Combi Master 5500, which is a 3000 watt inverter with the charger built in. And then it has a 400 amp hour lithium battery bank. So this rig coupled with a soft start air conditioner can run everything that you need off grid. Your air conditioner, your microwave, your TV, all your lights, your slide out, everything you want to do camping, you can do it in this without being plugged into shore power. Although you can plug into shore power and then it will just charge up your battery bank. But we'll get more into that solar panel and a solar kit, power package. EPRO does it on four specific floor plans. And this one specifically is the 20 FBS. So without further ado, let's hit the inside. Welcome to the inside of this EPRO 20 FBS. So, although small and compact, this rig really is an ideal unit for the camper on the go. Two people with the odd guests. You have a main queen bed up here. Oftentimes in these smaller rigs, you get these corner beds running east-west, and then you can't you know, have access all the way around. So this is a really cool layout. You have that wind windshield in the front. Right now we have that little blind down, but kind of cool because you know when you're falling asleep and it's a nice starry night you can look out and just see everything going on really nice uh, blackout roller shades throughout the entire coach so on a hot sunny day like today you can help keep the cool inside and get some privacy you have some storage underneath that bed so right here there's a power cord and some different items that come with the coach and then you have some drawers below all the solar package is just behind this wall underneath the bed. So everything is tucked away. You have your Combi Master 5500 with the lithium battery bank all tucked away. Nobody can see it unless you really want to, then you can take a panel off and um, see what's going on. Over here, we have two little smart digital readouts which one is telling you about your house battery, the level that it's at, it'll tell you basically on the load you have running and drawing on the coach, how much time you'll have left under that kind of load. And then it's reading voltage and amperage. And then over here you have your inverter telling you it's inverting the power. It has the readouts um, of what the draw is and things like that. So this has all kinds of functionality in it that you need to get to know once you get the rig but really cool that you can see real time. If you turn on that air conditioner, we can show you. We'll just hit this, the noise will get going a little bit, but we just wanna show you that readout. So it's set to cool, it's gonna fire up. And then over here we have 93% on the battery. And then the load is gonna hit, the amperage is going up. It's gonna pump up to about 60, 70. We're at one day, 19 hours and then once the compressor goes and it starts cooling, this is gonna drop down to usually around four hours. So now it's down to 12. Just takes it a minute to see what, what it's really pulling. And there we go, it's the compressor kicked in. And now it's dropping down five hours, 39. And it's probably gonna go down a little bit more three hours and 30 minutes. We're at 93%. Earlier at 100%, it was reading about four hours. So pretty cool that you know, based on the usage, when you have the air conditioner cranked full blast on high, that you'll get, you know, three and a half to four hours. And then once you shut it off, then this is just gonna start climbing right back up because the load is gone. So three and a half is gonna start pumping up. And yeah, it's, it's 
not reading anymore because there's no load. But, well, there's about 10 amps being drawn. But it's pretty cool because, you know, based on your usage, you're going to be able to know while you're out in the camp what you're drawing, how much battery you have left. And it, it's, it's very useful for the style of camping you're going to be doing when off grid. Continuing through, we have some good storage next to the bed, little wardrobes. We have USB charging on both sides with 110 plugs, which is great to put a CPAP machine or you know your phone for charging in the evening. And then you have a little bungee to hold some storage up above. Nice LED lights throughout the rig. You can shut them off with a little click of a button there, or you have your main panel here on the way in that will automatically shut all the lights all at once. You have your slides here, your hot water, gas and electric water pump, and you also have heated holding tanks underneath. So one cool bit of technology that this ePro also has is this one control by Lippert. You can scan this QR code in the app store and this will help you control the entire RV. So once you get in there and you sign up, create an account, you can link up with this information and password to your specific trailer. And then from there, we can kill the lights, we can turn on the lights, we can go through, we can open the awning. You can control all that remotely with your smart device, which is really cool, you know? Um, you gotta love technology sometimes and just like that. So you see, you know, the porch light, the step lights, the awning light, you know, we can just turn them on just like that. So really awesome. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Kitchen is compact, but very functional. You have a full gas oven, three burner cooktop with the glass cover recessed into the counter. You have a hood fan with the light. And then you have your media system over here built into the kitchen area because you know, you're, we're only 20 feet here. And then you have a stainless steel sink with a high rise faucet. You have a door side window, which is cool. So you can, you know, do the dishes and see what's going on out on your campsite. You have a storage drawer below for your cutlery. And then you have a little cupboard underneath for pots and pans. And then here you have a 12 volt fridge. So this is a separate freezer and refrigerator in here. Little metal thingy for the kitchen sink when you wanna dry your dishes. And then there's another goodie here. This comes standard with the unit. This is a tire pressure monitor system. So it helps you monitor the air pressure and what's going on on the foundation of your coach. You know, when it gets super hot in the summer months, it's nice to have that peace of mind while you're traveling. You have a Magic Chef microwave above, pop a little popcorn or heat something up from last night. And then over in the slide out, we have a little sofa, which has this little armrest cup holder built in, cup holder over here. You have a little table behind that will fit in front of here when you want to dine. And this will flip down and make a spot for the odd guests, um, maybe two if they really like each other, but it's not a big bed. You don't want people to be too comfortable hanging out too long. Um, in the back here, we have a nice big washroom for the size of coach. You have a stand-up shower stall with an integrated shower curtain. You have a skylight above to give you that extra natural light. Here we have that little grill that goes on the outside of the coach that we talked about earlier in the video. This unit has a, a shower miser. So this is a, a system that they do that redirects cold water that's not being used from your fresh tank. So if you want to optimize the amount of water, if you're you know using your reservoir and doing dry camping, you don't actually have water. So you bring in water from home. The shower miser system will help you recirculate that cold water. So you're not depleting your reservoir as fast. So really cool technology on this ePro. I really feel like they jam so much into this small compact unit that really hits everything that campers are looking for and really allows you to be very versatile on where you want to camp and what kind of camping you want to do. You have a nice little vanity set up here. 
You have some great storage in the bathroom, two shelves, put all your linens in there. You have a nice high powered four speed fan above for ventilation when you're taking a hot shower, stainless sink, and then you have a little medicine cabinet and some storage below. Porcelain foot flush toilet. So, you know, again, they're not cheaping out. They're putting in all kinds of quality components into this ePro and really, which makes this unit really one of my, my favorites in this segment. They're really doing a bang out job. They're hitting a weight at around 3,500 pounds, opening up the doors to a lot of tow vehicles. And you know, even though it's, it's compact, it doesn't feel confined in here. You have tons of windows, tons of light, a little slide out, and with all the amenities, you can't go wrong. This wraps up our tour of this 20 FBS. Again, I'm Dominic, we're Alexandria Camping. Please hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Comment below if you have things you wanted to see that we maybe missed. And let us know what you think about that solar package. Subscribe if you like and stay tuned for more content. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining us.